Alright YouTube, what is going on? It's Conflict Nerd Calum here today bringing you another episode of our Airline Tycoon Let's Play. Some great news to start off the, well we've got good and bad news. What do you want first? The good news or the bad news? We'll start off with the obvious bad news, which is we have another sabotage incident. Again, I don't think it is that bad. I believe if you've seen the end of the last episodes, then it was a strike action which our employees took for only two hours when the planes were on the ground. So. It would have only delayed things for about two hours and there's not too much that was profitable yesterday. I mean, there was a steady profit of about 100,000 all round, but there wasn't any like, you know, big, big profits that were coming in, which were like a few hundred thousand. So things shouldn't have been that badly affected. And saying that again, sabotage incidents are continually adding up. We're at least getting one an episode. However, so is everyone. So it's not that bad a thing. Um, and we should probably start doing a bit of sabotage ourselves, to be fair. Uh, I have read into it, and we can go ahead and deploy some sabotage, because there is a secret room which we've not been to yet, which we can definitely go ahead and visit in today's episodes. The good news is that we've reached an image of 11%, which is great. Uh, and we're really not doing that much advertising, to be honest, I feel personally. And the passengers number has also reached over 10,000 so we're the first airline I mean that's Sunshine Airlines are half of what we are uh, adding all those airlines together it's we wouldn't be far behind all three of those airlines combined however we do know that they have a much higher cash flow I believe so to be fair it's a bit mixed that's interesting they're st all starting to issue more shares actually so that's maybe something that we need to do because their share price looks like Sunshine Airlines is our biggest uh, biggest competitor. So a value of all our stocks, we could maybe issue some more stocks. That's definitely a shout. Um, but right now, no one's bought into any of my stocks. But we have the least amount of stocks, if you know what I mean. So we should probably go ahead and buy some more of our own stocks or issue some more stocks just so it's less easy to take over from ourselves uh the accounts overall actually we have made up a bit of grounds uh we are starting to save as well uh which is a good thing not really at all sure what we're planning on we had a short term goal two episodes ago of upgrading this bitterfeld this bitterfeld is kitted out the next idea is to maybe go ahead and upgrade the potsdam however again not at all sure if we really need to do that because if you have been watching the last two episodes in this episode we're due to lose our london to New York flight, I'm afraid. The last flight will be on Thursday. It's just that we've not met the capacity. I know why. I guess it was me just not planning ahead and we need to start off with shorter flights before we get to longer flights. Anyways, with all that said, let's just look at the numbers, which that is really good to see. London to Berlin is at 118 people this morning. Uh, then it was at 84, then we've got some more flights. We have some gate issues this afternoon. I think that was because we changed our Potsdam flight. Um, but just moving that around, we've got plenty of Berlin flights going on tomorrow, which is good. If we can try and find free gates, we're really struggling there, aren't we? Uh, so there's going to be a few gaps, but we do definitely need to go ahead and fill a few holes, that's for sure. Uh, we just got a 700s thousand payday from Chicago which brought us up to 3.6 million. Uh, I've got another 166,000 coming in tonight and again it's just going back to that consistent profit of really 100,000 that we are about to lose that consistent profit but I think we're not going to fly as much. We're going to uh, tone things down a little bit and we're really going to focus on our Berlin London trying to get us into the profit because right now it's making a loss however I think the tides are starting to turn Let's very quickly go ahead and look. So the route capacity is at 6%. We need to get that up to 10% and then we can start going ahead and hopefully making profit on that. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get on with today's tasks. So first of all, I know we just left that. We're coming back into here. So let's have a think here. So you're busy up till Thursday, but if there's anything from Thursday onwards, we'll take and anything onwards from now the smaller plane can take. So Thursday and now. So interestingly, that is probably going to be a good one because we're not going to have our transatlantic flights really anymore. So we need to go ahead and probably pick that one up. Uh, our smaller plane can do anything literally, though we do want to see a good profit. So that's got a good premium. So I'm imagining, well, it's got an all right premium for Europe at least. So we'll go ahead and grab that at 70,000. 
for me there, that doesn't have a high enough premium. Uh, so I think we'll skip that for the time being. You have a nice, nice, nice penalty. I don't know if we can fit you in though. That's Barmuda on the Tuesday. Can we go to Barmuda on Tuesday? That is the real question. The answer to that question is yes, we can. So let's go ahead and grab that off the board as well. And then hopefully we can fit everything else we just took off the board as well. So it is the Barmida. So it's, I mean, it's got a high penalty. Near enough of a million dollars. So I'm hoping that, you know, it will give us a good profit. Anyway, so let's start off with trying to fit this in here. So we're going to remove you. Then instead we're going to put that in there. Now that means you miss London to Riyadh. Can we do it that way? No, 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 no. Right, this is a problem here. Which one gives us the most profit? That's the question. Oh, you really don't give a good profit, do you? Oh, that's shit. Right, we mucked up. We mucked up. So London to Barmida. That means we can't fit in the Riyadh. You're still going to make a profit overall, actually. We need to put this flight in because its penalty is much more over the Riyadh flight, which is a shame. Um, but I guess you guys are just at different parts of the world. What about this Atlantis? Yeah, that's going to have to do, unfortunately. A London Riyadh, we just can't do. So we're going to have to skip that. Going back to the smaller plane for the time being, let's stick the Rome flight in there. Make us 49,000, it's not bad. And then we've also got an Ottawa to London, which has to be done at some point. So I'll tell you what, we'll put you in there, and then we'll put another charter in here from... What, London to New York in there. And then that's, that takes us up to Thursday, where that route gets disbanded. So... We're fine up to Thursday on there. I shouldn't have took that. We still actually don't make a loss, but we're missing out on a lot of potential profit we could have had, which is a shame. Uh, what I think we're going to do for the time being is just stick you in there, stick you in there, and that's carrying 126. So that's the maximum amount of people that route can be taking, which is great to see. So glad to see that is doing so well. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow that will be at 7%. The image of the route's at 35%. I'm going to give that a wee top up by doing some more advertising right now. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is... Possibly call it a day, because I don't really think there's too much more to do. So Berlin to London, the image is at... It's much higher than the London New York, uh, which is good. And I don't feel I've spent that much money on it. Uh, I feel I'm, you know, just a little bit here and there. Is doing not bad, but uh, that's the advertising done for today. The overall airline image, not really focusing on that too much because it is at 11%. It's sort of naturally growing anyway, so uh, definitely if people were to look up this airport, they're going to see my airline because all the other airlines have an image currently of zero as far as I can remember. So with that done, it is still making a loss though, but it's good to see the capacity is getting filled up. So 6% right now, that needs to get up to 10%. That specific figure needs to get to 10%. Then we can start charging more because you can actually charge, which I never knew this until two episodes. You can actually go ahead and change the ticket prices. So right now we're on dumping, ultra cheap. Eventually it'll be upgraded to flight costs, then standard price, then first class. One thing I do want to do today is check the mail first of all. I don't think there's any new mail. Um, okay, so this is now getting its warning. So we've got a 10 day warning now to get this to 10%. That's why I'm glad we started it sooner rather than later. So at least we're on top of this issue. Hopefully nothing will be wrong and everything should be fine. So I'm glad to see that. Uh, I mean, we should get that 4% in 10 days, no problem. Fingers crossed, no jinx, touching woods. Uh, it's just... Obviously, I don't want to lose another route, especially with the amount of money I've spent on advertising this one. And if we can make this one successful, then we can go ahead and pick up other ones. But for the time being, we just need to focus on the Berlin London. So that's why we're flying it lots and lots. I'm not filling up the schedule too much. Uh, there's a few gaps here just because of gate issues, actually, which is a shame. We could apply for a gate extension in the airport now, actually. We do have the money and we've been a... Uh, airline for over two weeks now so uh that criteria has been met but i don't think there's really that much need because it does cost like a million to build so unless i think we really get unless we're like flying unless we're getting lots of clashes we're getting maybe a clash a day right now if we get loads of clashes going forward then then that is maybe something to consider but for the time being i think we're fine 
Anyway, so Thursday onwards for that, and anything for the smaller. I'm just gonna, just, yeah, just one more check, you know, and see if there's anything which is absolutely amazing. Um, and so far it's looking not, really, to be honest. Uh, that Helsinki, Thursday, that's a possibility, actually, because, I mean, the plane's gonna have to do something from Thursday onwards, so... Um, though we'd like a much better profit, though we might as well take that, to be fair. Should we? Yeah, I mean, it'll still make us a profit. It's not gonna be a great profit, but it's gonna be a profit nonetheless. And then, is there anything 90-seaters that is appetizing? Not really. So let's go ahead and very quickly pencil this in, and then let's go ahead and... Go into the office, please. Then we'll go ahead and probably wrap up today, because there's nothing else to do today. So, big plane, we're looking at Thursday onwards. You're gonna fly, once you arrive back in London, you're gonna fly it to Helsinki. Losing 14,000, but making 91,000. That's fine. So we're going to call it a day there, and our money kind of went down overnight, actually, which is a bit of a shame. But nothing's really changed. Image has gone up again. Personnel is something which I'm probably going to look at today, actually, and see if we can improve on that. So very quickly, just looking in here, Bitterfeld, 66. That's not good. 110, though. So the capacity, let's check the capacity, capacity, come on, the capacity has got to 7%, come on, we're getting there, we're going to get that 10%, we're going to do it. So one thing I want to go ahead and do is look at the Bitterfeld, so the Bitterfeld currently has three flight attendants, now, I'm doing anything to get passengers to fly on London to Berlin, Berlin to London, and I feel if I go ahead and make the flight attendants better on this plane, then we can go ahead and get ourselves more passengers, meaning more route capacity, meaning more money. So first of all, let's go ahead and actually check what the flight attendants are on the Bitterfeld and see if we can go ahead and improve them. So you're currently working on the Bitterfeld, you are very highly gifted, you're currently on the, we can definitely change you. That is definitely something we can change because a salary is a strong indication. Um, so it looks like you two are working on the Bitterfeld and who else? You are, you've got a higher satisfaction as well. Very talented, so I think we can go ahead and change probably one flight attendant, this flight attendant here. Satisfaction's 86%, but gifted, I feel we can do a little bit better because I believe it goes gifted, talented, and then like expert or something like that. It's very, very rare to get the top end 100%, but I think we can definitely go ahead and improve here on this flight attendant, Doris. Because Doris, you just aren't cutting it for me, I'm afraid. I was sounding very Scottish there. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at a flight attendant and see if there's any better. So 13 applications here. I'm literally just going to look at the price. So currently Doris requires, what, $4,300. So we'll go ahead and see if we can find something better. So we've got a talented here. Used to be an entertainer and has a great sense of humor. I just want a little bit more than that, Barbara, unfortunately. So I don't think you are... What I'm looking for. This is a little bit better here. So above average though. Maybe not. Very highly gifted. This is what I want. And that's a good salary as well. So grew up in a bilingual family. So that's a good start. Was a student representative on the student council. Is very popular. So I think that's probably the person I think I'm going to hire to replace Doris. So you're going to get employed. And welcome to the books. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into flight attendants. To be fair, we don't have to fire Doris. Should we fire Doris? I don't know. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. What we're going to do, so the new person we hired, which was, I forgot her name, or his name. Um, I think it was, was it this person here? So you're currently not assigned to a plane. So we need to go ahead and assign to the, we'll assign you onto the Bitterfeld. So on you go. So that should now be four flight attendants on the Bitterfeld. I don't know if this updates instantly. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So Potsdam's got five out of five. And now you've got four or you've got three plus one. Because you don't actually require four, but you've got an extra one. Um, so hopefully you can help out for Doris being a wee bit all over the place. But now that's that sorted out. Uh, things are looking on the up, definitely. I'm happy to see that that has been put in place, and hopefully again, we just need to wait and see, so that had 110, from the disappointing 66 this morning, 110 is much more promising, a full plane this afternoon, which is great, so that's 126, extremely happy about that, 
7%, I'm sure when we go to sleep now and wake up for tomorrow, that might have changed. It might be a little bit better. Uh, so image has gone up, personnel has gone up by a percentage or gone down a percentage. Not 100% sure. It must have gone up. It must have gone up. Um, let's go ahead. Whoa, hold up. What's going on? Why are we not getting... Let's get more of these on the go. Why is there not more scheduled charters? Oh, it's probably because of gate issues. That's the problem. Many gate issues. Many gate issues. What is going on here? Have we got a free gate at all? Oh, this is just going to cause so many ongoing problems, isn't it? And this is why like, I'm really tempted to go ahead and get another gate. So move you to there. Then you have to get pushed at least a few hours. We'll push you to Friday morning, so push you to there. Right, I think that's everything simmered down. So made a little bit of money there. Uh, overnight made a, made a bit of money. We need to get the Potsdam. So the Potsdam is needing uh, filled up. And it's going to be very random without a, a scheduled route going forward. So let's go ahead and first of all check. We're at 7% yesterday. We're at 9%. Come on. I think we still have like 8 days, but we're definitely doing this. This is, it's so good to see that this is going to be successful. I'm so, so, so happy. It is, it makes me happy because I was very worried for the series for a while. I tried, like, I took 3 days off. Or not three days off. I was ill. I was moving. I was uh, having a. I don't know. It was just sort of like I was thinking about the series and was like, I cannot get a root charter to work. And this was when we were just we're about to lose the New York one. And I was worried and I was looking at guides and because this game is sold, it doesn't have a lot of guides, right? So it was really really difficult for me and I was like, ah, oh, should I just end the series early? Should I just maybe do one more episode and call it quits? But no, that's definitely, definitely not going to happen now that we're starting to see a little bit more success. I don't think I would end the series early anyway because I do really enjoy this game. I would probably just stop it and then I would start it once I've done a little bit more reading and playing of it myself because I've not really played this game in like properly in like six years, if not longer. So there's a few different games that I really want to go back to. Probably Zoo Tycoon's the next one, actually. Zoo Tycoon would be a great game to play. Though, again, I need to familiarise myself with it and uh, just see how we do. Anyway, so we're looking for 180 passengers going forwards. Uh, flights for that. So London to Dakar, either plane can do. Uh, actually, hold up, can they? London to Riyadh. I need some long-range stuff. That's the thing. I do need some long range, transatlantic, into Asia, uh, Africa, I guess Dakar is a shout. Uh, the Bitterfeld's pretty much fine, you're doing your own thing. Uh, so Ottawa to London. So yeah, it's literally, it's from Friday morning onwards, the Potsdam's doing nothing. Friday morning onwards. So we could run a little faster. So Friday morning, so Saturday, uh, 180, London to Munich. Might as well take it. Penalty's not that much. Um, until Saturday to Riyadh, 90. Yes, we might as well take that because we can fit that in on Friday. Uh, that has a has a relatively high premium. So we'll take use two to start with. And we'll fit you guys in here. Again, we can fit in the Berlin, London, London, Berlin. So let's go ahead and London, Munich. That's only going to get 36,000 profit actually, but it will do. You're going to give us 45,000, you're going to lose, actually that's going to, we actually do make a profit of like a hundred and odd dollars there, but that was maybe a bad pick by me, maybe not the best thing there, but uh, it will have to do, unless I take the loss, the loss is a hundred thousand though, so unless something amazing comes up then I think we'll just leave it there for the time being. Right, let's go ahead and look at shares again, because that's something that I am a bit concerned about. I think we need to go ahead and buy more of my own shares. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's run down to the bank and let's buy some of my shares. I've not been in the bank in a long, long time, actually. So let's go ahead and see if anything has changed. And I want to see just like how much is out curiosity we can take out as a loan. So as you can see, our rate is actually going down. So it looks like Sunshine, they're... Our share prices are going up. Phoenix is a bit all over the place. Honey's a bit all over the place. Falcon's definitely on the downer though. So I think what we need to do is go ahead and sort this out. So if we talk to, is it you I believe for shares? Right, I would like to buy some stock and I would like to buy some stock in my own airline please. 
So Falcon Lines, that's my 2000 uh, signature. So let's very quickly go ahead and check and see if I'm doing this right. So yeah, so that's me bought another thousand of my own shares, which is good. So that means I guess we're less easy to buy out. Uh, we're probably going to do this quite a few times over though. Um, as you can see, a value of all our stock is not that high. So Sunshine Airlines has got the best. As I said, they are going to be our biggest competitor by far going forward, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and buy some more of these. What are our other options here? Because we've not really been in the bank that much, to be honest. So, what? I would like to issue new stock. We have the we have enough money right now, so we don't need to do that. I would like to determine how much profit I will distribute. Dividends at 10% right now, and I can go ahead and change that. I'm happy with dividends being at 10% right now, to be honest. So, let's just go ahead and buy some more shares for now, and then uh, we'll come back and buy some more maybe tomorrow. So, let's go ahead and buy some stocks. We could buy some stocks in other airlines, but I don't really think there is the need for that right now, because I know when something is triggered, then... Let's go ahead, can we buy a bit of a higher percentage, please? Yeah, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and do that there. So that means now we should have... Yeah, there we go, an extra thousand. So that will do for the time being. Um, what I was saying there, sorry, was that we just need to make sure we monitor all the other airlines. And the reason I don't want to necessarily bid for another airlines just yet is because I don't want to start a war. I don't want them to start eating away at me just yet anyway because uh, I feel if I buy someone else's and they'll start to buy mine they could gang up on me because I've not got relations with any of these other and that's something we should probably do make some relations with some other people in the airport so let's go ahead and make relations with Sunshine Airlines let's go ahead and stop you right yes yeah, stop right well done yeah, what's up? all right hey what's up it's about business relations what about a collaboration? We could use our international contacts together. You can phone my branches and I can call yours. Might as well do it. We don't have any, but uh, we'll see if she's up for that. Okay, agreed. Right, so we have access to, and I know that she has some business relations. I know we don't. So if we go back into here and... What are we looking at? Branch offices. We have one. She has nine. So definitely someone we want on her... Our side, sorry, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. So if we jump back in here, I know we can't, I'm just looking at planes and see how they're doing. So that's down to 82 passengers, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but uh, plenty more still to come there. And I think we're fine overall there. Uh, Potsdam's kind of worrying me in the future, to be honest. Let's go ahead and look at the phone book, though. And let's go ahead and phone some of these other branches, should we? Petrol Air, Competitors, Branches. Yes, yeah, so these are all the branches, so all belong to Sunshine. So the top place, I have no idea where that is, but I know pretty much where all the other ones are, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and phone up Atlantis and see what is it. How's the weather? I'd like to know what order flights you have. All right, okay, so you can fly from anywhere from that specific destination, it looks like. Right, okay, so these are all the different... So is it that advantageous to have branches? I don't really know, to be honest. So um, so these are the cargo ones at the bottom, and then it's got the passenger ones at the top. And that's something we've really not looked into for a while either, and that's something that the Potsdam could definitely do going forward, is cargo. So the Potsdam cargo-wise can hold only 24, which isn't amazing, but it's not that bad. So we're looking for stuff for Friday, Saturday onwards really uh, for that plane. So let's go ahead and see if we can just get anything on the go for now. So I'm looking for Friday, Saturday onwards. Uh, is there anything here which looks exciting? Not really to be honest. Uh, so let's make our way. That Dakar doesn't look too bad and it's tempting but I think tomorrow we're pretty busy so let's go ahead and see if there's anything down in the cargo terminal which we can get for 24 tons. I don't know if we'll be able to, because some of the cargo stuff, like we could go ahead and uh, work up to buying a cargo plane, that's a shout, but one ton. And that's pretty good. Is that until Wednesday next week? Yep, we might as well take that, because that is going to be very, very nice. We do have to do quite a bit of flying, but that is going to be, it's probably diamonds or something like that, so we'll take that. Thank God we came in here. 
Anything else? Uh, premium, a really good premium there. That's tomorrow though, and unfortunately we just can't, we can take it because it's got no penalty. Uh, anything interesting? Interesting, no. Interesting, no. So let's go ahead and dip out and let's return up to the office and see if we can get these scheduled in. Then I think we'll maybe pop into the advertisers and hopefully by tomorrow we should be at 10% for our Berlin London flights. So cargo, first time we've been in cargo for a while. Let's go ahead and, oh no, it's this Thursday, shit. Thank God we've got these, uh, we can move them out of the way. So it's Moscow to Rome. So that isn't that big a profit actually. It's still 300,000, it's still better than we'd be getting anyway. Then uh, let's go ahead, let's push you back actually a little bit. Actually, do you want to do, I think we should do one more transatlantic, like once more. So you're going to go from London, wait, wait, where are you, sorry? If you're in Moscow then that's going to be, you're in Rome. Can we even get another transatlantic in? I don't know if we can actually, I don't think we can, no. So we're going to move you up to there, move you up to, I'll have to move you to there because all these gates, it's because we're doing the Berlin flight so much, that's the problem, so. Um, but we'll have to see if we're going to be doing that frequency going forward, so no rush decisions. Uh, let's go ahead and move you back a bit. And let's go ahead and see. So you're scheduled in there, Moscow to Rome. You're in, which is good. Um, and then the Delhi Manila. So this is going to require quite a lot of flighting. Um, but you're in. What have I got? Two of you guys. We do have. How many? How many times do I have to fly this? Or is that just a glitch? Oh, it's a hundred tons. Uh, but you've not got a penalty, do you? Right, remove you. Sorry, I'm being stupid here. The onboard movie, that always happens. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Wheesh, wheesh. So that's actually still getting me a good profit. So I'm happy to fly two of those. Because that means we've done a fair amount of it. We just won't do all of it. Uh, so we'll do two of those. Can we get a third one in? We can get a third one in. And everyone's still happy. So that'll get me like 900,000 tomorrow. And I don't think we'll be able to transport it all. But we'll be able to get most of it over. Uh, which is good. 45,000 from London to Riyadh, then 36,000, little profits there. Um, but I mean, 900,000 for tomorrow for Thursday. We're going to make 800,000 off this diamond or whatever it is uh, from Delhi to Manila. In saying that, though, the plane is in Manila, which is a long way away. So it's going to cost quite a bit of money to fly the plane back, as it's costing 53,000 just to fly it from Munich to Delhi. But we'll see how that does going forward. But anyway, what I'm going to do is 90 passengers, not bad. We're going to call it a day there. And then we're going to see it's got to be at 10% now. It's just got to be. So the sabotage incident, the movie theatre, nothing, nothing. It's not really a problem. We can just skip that. Do you mind just going into the office, please? That would be great. So let's go ahead and see the ultimate moment of truth. First of all, actually, money has it's bounced around. It's been a wee bit here, there. Um, so actually we're never actually gonna, oh it's gone, because it is Thursday, so interestingly the London, New York is gone, which is a shame, but uh, please be 10%. 8%, no, we're going backwards, what the, hey, no, 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 8%, shit. Right, we've still got time, we've still got plenty of time, we've not got our 5 day notice yet, so you're at 72, you're at 92, you're at 126. So it's obviously during the day you want the most flights, like at morning obviously people aren't flying as much so it's like the prime time you want to fly because who wants to leave an airport at midnight and get in at 4am, like nobody does. So I mean I guess people won't mind flying from about 4am to about midnight I guess but no one wants to fly in between the hours of midnight and 4am so. One thing I do want to very quickly check though is the mail and see how we're doing so that's been revoked, understand that. We missed something which cost us a bit of money, I understand that. Cinema broke. So that is 10 days and that's at 6%. It's not really at 6%. Um, but you can go. So it's just this. So we've not even got our 5 day warning yet. So we're doing totally fine. So no need to worry yet. No need to worry yet. What we're going to do though is we're just going to jump forward into tomorrow because there's nothing else to do. Please say there's no sabotage incidents. Interestingly we lost a lot of money there. Interestingly, we went down quite a bit of money, um, which is kind of disappointing. I'm guessing we maybe didn't make that much money on these... I don't know where we lost the money. 
It was maybe because we didn't transport all the cargo, so we didn't get all the payments. I'm not really at all sure though. Uh, so let's see here. So we've got a little bit of profit this morning. Um, tomorrow though we'll get a big profit of 800,000 which is good. Let's go ahead and see here. So 105 passengers, 126. It's got to be at 10% now. It is at 10% ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy. That's a little bit of pressure off. So if anything, if that goes back under 10%, it should at least reset. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to continue to take the loss for the time being, which is at 12,000. And then once it maybe creeps up to about 15% or so, then we're going to up the price of tickets and then we're going to start making our profit. That is for sure. Uh, interestingly, if the demand continues at this, then we might go ahead and stick some of you guys onto this plane here as well. What I want to do though is very quickly just run downstairs and before we do that, just check what we actually need. So Sunday onwards and anything else on the smaller plane. So Sunday onwards I'm needing on the Potsdam really. So until Sunday, Barcelona, not good enough. That's good, Chicago. I'll take that because that's got a nice premium. This Helsinki doesn't have a bad premium either actually. Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'll take, I don't know if I should take the Helsinki one, we'll take the Chicago one for sure. And then what I'll do is I'll run back down to the cargo terminal in the next episode and see what we can get in. So we'll just stick you in, if you're in Manila, then yes, yeah, this is going to be the problem. So, if you're in Manila, then it's going to cost so much money for you to fly back. Because being in Manila is just an awkward place to be. So, what I'm thinking is we jump in here... We get a Berlin to London. No, that just makes it... I'm just wondering which way around the world this would fly. Would it fly from Manila to... Chicago over, like, the specific? Or would it come the other way via London? I don't know. By my guess, it would... I really don't know. That's just going to be a long, long, long flight. And it sort of just defeats the purpose of this. But we need to fly it, so... I guess that's us up till Monday now. I forgot we're in Manila. Um, we can maybe get some cargo goods. Before we wrap this episode up, I just want to see if there's any cargo goods which we can take out of here. Uh, and that will be for Saturday. One thing I do need to go ahead and buy is a laptop now, actually, because I think we're at that stage now. So, is there any other cargo in that part of the world which we can handle? Honestly, this is the only piece of cargo we can handle and it's on Monday and it's not that amazing profit So we'll go ahead and leave that for the time being and we'll run back upstairs So it looks like we're just gonna have to take that loss on the chin I don't think the next few days are gonna be that profitable to be honest uh, At least this is at over 10% so hopefully in probably the next episode or two episodes time We can go ahead and actually start getting a profit out of this I'm really looking forward to getting a consistent good profit which we can keep because we were getting a consistent profit from the London to New York, but the problem was, was that we lost that, so we, we not got to keep it, but hopefully using this we'll get to keep this going forwards. Let's just go ahead and fill in the blanks here, and get some more of you guys in there. And then I think that's all for this episode. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this episode up of Airline Tycoon here. So thank you very much for watching, please leave a like rating. Another episode will be out in a few days time. That's all for this video, so thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.